we're here on uh, Hidden Valley, right in this little turnout. So tell me what you guys see as you look around here. Grasses. Ditch, grasses, okay, okay. A little bit of trees. What kind of, gra what kind of grasses? Tell me, about this, tell me about this grassland. Is it all bunch grassy and, and lumpy here and there? No. It's very homogeneous, yeah? Yes. So why might that be? There's more sits. It's groomed. It's heavily, it's not groomed, but it's grazed. Yes. It's heavily, heavily grazed. Yeah, I feel like squirrels Yeah, there's a lot of squirrels. Right, right, yep, totally. Oak trees. Good. So there are a lot of oak trees. Are there a lot of oak trees in this field? No. no. No, they're on the edges of the field. So they've been cleared from this field, right? So this is an agricultural. So that one here, we look at the one behind us. That's a horse paddock, right? So obviously there's no trees in the horse paddock. The one over the side over here, same thing if they've been cleared. These trees right here on the edge of the road are pepper trees. So these are non-native trees that have been planted, right? Just like on campus. Okay, so our, we have a lot of oak trees up, but they're on the hillsides. They're on the hillsides, yeah? Yes. So we see a, a heavily managed landscape um, for, in this case, animals, right? What else? What else do you guys see? Water tanks up there. Water tanks? Okay, good. So this this looks like uh, some water infrastructure for irrigation or, or home use or business use. Okay, good. What else? There's some barbed wire bunch up against the fence, so probably people don't want you in. Yes, right. Yep, yep. This is private property over there. Yes, this is not, not park land or anything like that. Okay, good. What else? David, you notice anything? Grass very tall, fluffy. Okay. Look like There's some patches next to the to this fence. Okay, good. Okay, so Rosie saying so so David saying it looks kind of fluffy. I would say it's still relatively short statured compared to what you guys saw. This is still relatively low. Um, but then uh, Rosie's saying there's 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 some uh, like disturbance here, and we see where there's more disturbance. There's less grass and more forbs. More of the sort of thistle y kind of stuff. Good. Sal has them? Yeah, I see cable lines over there by the, okay. by the hill. Okay. So obviously, a big fragmenter here is the road, but we also have all these power lines, right? And Sal was commenting on the large, the heavy duty large scale power lines are going up. Uh, if you look on the top of this road, that white and um, uh, red tower, that's called Rasnow Peak. That is one of the main transmission sites for TV and radio and stuff of that nature for, for this area. On, just on the other side of that hill, if we were up there looking down, we'd see Thousand Oaks. So this is Hidden Valley. This is not Conejo Valley. Over there is Conejo Valley. This is a different valley. This is very a very popular place for um, a long time. These are mostly, as you guys see, mostly horse ranches, large estates. So uh, this is, so the one just behind us over here, the barn, that's Tom Selleck's house. The one that we just passed up there is Jamie Foxx's house. So there's a lot of, um, you know, close to LA, but people that want to have like a big ranch kind of thing or a farm type situation. This is a, uh, a popular place. At the end of this valley is, is um, Lake Sherwood in a very high-end golf course development, right? Where Tiger Woods used to have his, his annual tournament and stuff. So. So this is definitely what we, we might call ex-urban, ex-urban development, right? It's not suburbia, it's not urban, but it's this ex-urban landscape. Any, any other quick observations you guys have? Uh, yeah, the ditch, yeah, so this, this is so managing runoff here, managing water flow, yeah, absolutely. And what does the sign say back behind us on the road? So they probably have an issue with water here, right? If we have a, a, a ravine that looks like it's got some heavily, heavy erosion going on in it, there's, a, there's a, a plank lying down over there. We have flooded sign over here. So that might mean when we get a lot of dumping rain, this might be a challenging road to navigate. Brian. The oak trees down here look like they're dying compared to everything else. Yes, the oak trees in the field look skanky, right? The ones on the hillside look green, have leaves, and, and look relatively oh robust. These look... I, they're not dead. I wouldn't say they're dead, but, but they're, they look a little more stressed than the yeah. ones that are on the hillsides, right? Now, this could be because they're, they're, they're all, some of these are also different species. These are some valley oak. These are deciduous species of oak. But still, the point is well taken, right? These guys don't look the same level of greenness or, or, or verdantness as the stuff that's a little bit off the, off the, uh, off the field. Good. Anything else? All right. So that's a good observation of Hidden Valley. Awesome.